All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, let me give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah Kodash, to honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, walk with you, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. All right, this is going to be a real quick video. I remember I was having this conversation with a brother last night. But I remember as a kid, you know, I had to, this had to be like 05 or 06. I was probably, what, third or fourth grade. You know, I'm in my early 20s now. So this, this is literally, you know, damn near two decades ago. I remember uh, being in my living room. I remember, uh, or I'll say my grandmother's living room. I was at my grandmother's house. Everyone was in the living room. We were watching TV and the news comes on. And I remember, uh, I can't remember what station. I want to say Fox. It was one of the major ones, though. But I, I want to say Fox. But I remember them saying that there was supposed to be a meteorite that hits the earth in 2020 and so the earth was going to be in really big trouble in 2020 and they were stressing that but all i just remember seeing pictures you know they had a digital digi digitalized asteroid it was saying for 2020 now i don't remember if they're i don't believe they're saying it's going to be like a you know dinosaur type event as they say you know because that fucking bullshit but they were saying that it, when this asteroid hits in 2020 it's gonna cause some problems and I just remember being a little kid and thinking damn I don't know if I'm gonna make it to 2020 and it, it, uh, if I do you know am I gonna die or are we all gonna die and equating this to this truth now you know this is way before I knew anything about the scriptures we are at the end of this world and Esau knows that no matter what all right and it looks like you know we're gonna go to 2021 we are at the end of this, and Esau has always known that we are at the end of this. And I don't know about y'all, but man, growing up young, I just, you know, other stuff. But that little broadcast, I always had it in the back of my mind that this shit is only going to go so far. Something is going to happen at some point or another in society that is going to change everything. And we're about to see that, all right? We are, we are about to see that in our lifetime. It looks like it may be. y'all it looks like it may be if not 2000 lord hey lord willing this coming year i was just listening to the apostle you know it, it looks like this may be it y'all it looks like we may be getting up out of here pretty soon i'm gonna i want to start with this out of the book of daniel because the way that i see it that asteroid that is coming is this this is going to be daniel uh two and i'm going to start at verse 45 it says for as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold. Uh, it says, The great power hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter, and the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof, sure. All right, and we know that great stone is Jehovah Shai. All right, it tells you that, and it was that in Second Edris, all right, it was like a, a mountain so uh it was a chariot so big that it, it looked like a, a fucking flying mountain you know you couldn't tell it said i just was looking around to see if, if a mountain damn <laughs> a mountain range was missing all right let me see i'll go to i'll do uh two and 34 it says thou sawest daniel 2 and 34 thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them to pieces. All right, so we understand that Yahweh Shai at his return is going to break this place in fucking pieces. The same way that if a meteorite hits this planet, it completely destroys whatever is underneath it. All right, say you have a car and a building there. When that meteorite touches down, even if it's the size of a fucking, if it's just the size of a, a damn, uh, a, a damn water cooler, you know some not too big traveling at that at a great distance all that speed that power it completely destroys whatever is underneath it. and that's how Yahweh shy is going to return and this devil knows that that's why he's done all that he's can to set up his world and he's known that for a while now that's why he's been doing us how he's been doing us
Alright, now get this. Better in. What is this? I believe. What is it? Ecclesiastes? Yep. Ecclesiastes uh, 7 and 8. It says, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. And that's another thing that we have to have is the patience. All right. Hey, what? The patience and the faith of the saints. Why? Because we're at the end, y'all. You know, we're actually, you know, not saying because uh, uh, it tells you no man knows the day. You know, so Lord willing, it comes in 2021. All right. We're not saying, oh, it's going to happen in 2021. You know, for you scoffers, oh, CJMS. Blah, blah, blah. You know, that's not what I'm uh, saying, but it's being made evident that it is the end. And it's and it's the closer we get to the end, things are better for us. All right. Things is looking up for us. For these people, it's not looking up. So the end for them is, you know, they, they want to maintain this rule. But for us, the hopeful elect, the end truly is better. All right. And, it, and it's being made uh, evident. All right. The seasons are apparent you know you know when it's about to rain you can look up you smell that smell in the air you see that that hint of darkness in the sky all right you see you, you, the, them damn weather birds start bugging the hell out them certain birds start making that a uh, weird ass noise you know if brothers uh especially down south you know if brothers you know what i'm talking about they start it sounds like a goddamn emergency noises from a vehicle going off you know it's gonna rain all right so we know from all the signs that this shit is about to end and it's always and it's always been coming down to this it's always been coming down to this right here and a whole lot of words and this is going to be a, a real short clip but this i just remember that as a child you know i remember watching at that tv screen or, and thinking to myself damn you know where am i going to be at what's going to happen you know am i am i going to is the world going to end you know i, I remember those i remember those thoughts specifically uh and I, I just remember thinking, like, damn, am I even going to make it to that long? Because, you know, when you're a little kid, damn, one year away feels like a million years away. You know, all you're focused on is playing with toys and talking to uh, the, the little girlies at school and shit and hanging out with your homeboys. You ain't you have no concept or idea of what's really going on in the world. But now you come to this truth. Now you can see everything as it is. And if you have eyes to see and ears to hear, what can you see? All right, First Peter 4 and 17, it says, For the time has come that judgment... Oh, no, uh... Slack, it's the wrong one. Hang on. Uh... Uh... Verse 7, Slack, you're not 17. Yep, uh, First Peter 4 and 7... Uh, First Peter 4 and 7, it says, But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. All right. And that's what it's about. The end of all this, the end of this world, the end of Esau, Edom's reign. All right. Second Edges chapter six. What is that? Verse nine. A it is here and it's evident now. All right. We've always, it's always been alluding to this, to these moments and times that we're living in. And we're li and, and we're here. We're present in it and we're about to witness it. You know, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah, Bahashim the honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and citations to all the elect Akim, walk with them, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. I'm going to say Shalom.